Wizzy Weta. Hey beard lovers, so I'm taking over Earth Unplugged today because, well, they asked me to. Not, it's a cool channel, but you know, I'm not losing my integrity. I, I don't, and I don't do what everyone tells me to do. I just like the channel. They ask a lot of weird questions like, do animals fart? How big is space? What would happen if you were swallowed by a whale? And that got me thinking. If a whale farted in space, would you hear it? Probably not. Would you smell it? Whoever smelt it dealt it, so no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fart. Then it got me thinking. How do you make clones? Now, obviously, my cloning machine is strictly patented, but know-it-all clone might know how they do it the science-y way. Hey, know-it-all clone. Hey, me. No, you are not me. But how do they do it? Follow me on a journey of discovery. Oh, that sounds really annoying. Can't you just... T oh, he's gone. This is the nine-banded armadillo. That's a three-banded armadillo. All right, fine, this is the nine-banded armadillo. They've been doing the same thing for millennia. They split their fertilized egg into four genetically identical quadruplets, or haploid clones. <laughs> four clones, amateurs, follow me. Oh, all right, let's go that way then. This is a tinema stick insect. That's a stick, that is literally a stick I saw you break off a tree. Fine, this is a tinema stick insect. They've been asexually reproducing for millions of years, creating a whole new species of clones. No sex for a million years, tough break. You should know. I live with my girlfriend. Asexual reproduction that ancient is crazy rare. To survive, genes have to be future-proof in a changing world. The all-female whiptail lizard has to have double the normal set of chromosomes for their clone offspring to have enough genetic diversity to be ready for anything, though they still need the good stuff for egg laying. Well, that's a lot of lesbian lizard sex. There's a sentence I thought I'd never say. Well, up until right before I said it. I knew I was going to say it then. And I will know now until forever that I said it. I might say it again someday. Where are you going? Some sharks also partake in this virgin birth. Though they have sex, sometimes they turn on the clone production if they're struggling to find a mate. Ah, the eternal struggle. Reminds me of college. You're a sad, pathetic man. Lonely man. Ah, <sighs> thanks, know-it-all clone. Hey, did you know that most commercial bananas are clones of each other? That's why they don't have any seeds. I don't have any seeds. I'm a clone! <laughs> no, quick! Ah! I was gonna send him to the alligator pit anyway. He was bananas. Maybe I'm bananas. Certainly I'm talking to myself a lot. Anyway, subscribe to Earth Unplugged for more cool facts about the world, or come find me over at Wheezy Waiter, or my other project, The Good Stuff. Information in the doobly-doo. My winks ding, in case you didn't know that. The basic principle of camouflage is to break up your outline so you can't be detected, and there are many different types of camouflage in nature. To show you how some of these work, the production crew are going off to hide using some of Mother Nature's best techniques, and all you have to do is find them. But I've got one of these, and one of these. And when you do find them, simply click on them, and that should pull the trigger.